The story is the story of cats of Hollywood. <laughs> cats from the street and not from the street, because some cats uh, were abandoned. I understand some people don't like cats, but it's not a reason to make bad things against the cats. What got me involved was, I don't care how many cats there are because I love them, but they were suffering. And as long as there are animals dying in a shelter, not another animal should be bred, cat or dog, as far as I'm concerned, or sold at a, a pet store. Or As long as there's, there's animals dying every day, I don't think that should be allowed. I just feel that they are innocent victims of a lazy, negligent society and mentality. So the way I feel is that we domesticated them, so we're responsible for them. I'll die broke, but my cats will be taken care of, <laughs> right? I am here to work, to work, to trap, and to, uh, to save. And uh, I saved uh, 10 cats about, and 10 kittens. As long as I can take care of them, I'm happy. I don't, you know, I live frugally, and I take care of these cats. <laughs> it's a community thing. These are community cats. That's what yeah. I call them. Yeah. Because the community spawned them. I mean, that's where they came from. They came from irresponsible people not fixing their cats. That's where exactly. all these cats came exactly. from. So they're community cats. If everybody's feeding their one cat, it makes such a difference. That's the only solution for them. When we adopt a cat or a dog, we become responsible of this pet. If we cannot be responsible of one pet, it's better to not take. I think a lot of people just don't understand that when you take a cat into a shelter, there's a better chance of it dying than there is of being released alive from the shelter. I told to her she's a real angel. She makes a lot of things. She has 100 cats. Yeah, I'm very emotional, which makes me a great advocate for them because I don't give a what anybody says. This is, you know what I mean? I, be I believe she in this. She says it all. I've helped her. My cousin has saved her, helping her sometimes. There's different people that help her, but it's always her. <laughs> she does it all. I mean, I've always been a cat person, but I can't explain that. Ah, but this is a, this is a, a, a mission. Yeah, it is. Like that, I said, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. When God puts it in my path, what am I supposed to do? They should each have their own home, their own person. You, you know, ideally, this is just better than dying, is what this is. And they didn't die alone, that's the important thing to me. They don't expect nothing, the animals. They give you love, and love is the highest frequency of the universe.